so they never know. Hi folks, Keith Thulu here with Zeos, um, and this is another issue, uh, instance of I've never played, and I'm introducing Zeos to Hideo Kojima's Snatcher. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, never even heard of this game. So, um, those of you who don't know, this is kind of like a, a Blade Runner love letter is what I call it, because there's a lot of similar ideas, but it's Hideo Kojima, so it's fucking awesome. So, uh, go ahead and start the game. <coughs> Okie dokie. Do I see? There we go. Do I pet only? Okay, there's your controls, basically. So, C and B are confusing a lot, and A... Yeah, that's gonna throw me off, okay. Well, we don't have a gun. No, I mean... You can use the justifier, which made the game even fucking more bizarre. You had to plug <laughs> into, like, the other ports, so you're like, Oh, God! <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> okay. I think you just hit... Yep. Okay, we're good to go. Watch me just destroy everything. The story, characters, and defense in this game <coughs> are entirely fictional. Any similarities to actual people, places, and events are entirely Ridley Scott's. I'm sorry. God, I remember, like, when all this stuff was actually, like, hardcore and, like, it was, like, the shit. <laughs> and now it's just, like, everything has <coughs> uses, uh... To the Shadowrunners. Should probably grab, grab my glass. Ta-da! Tink. <coughs> well, that's score number one for me, Megan Key Lab. <laughs> well, I keep forgetting the entire. A lot of cyberpunk games started out in the 90s. <coughs> it's like they always had a backstory that took place in the 90s, like. Christ. This voice actor's taking, this voice actor's taking things really seriously. It's a serious game. Totally serious, bro. Is it wrong that I'm totally waiting for what's her name from Space Channel 5 to bust, bust him? Ilala Swinging Report Show! <laughs> of course it is! Cuz it's tropes. You remember, like, back in the day, though, these, these graphics were, like, the fucking shit. They still kind of are in comparison to yeah. some games. I mean, like, yeah, this is, like, amazing sprite work still. So for ruining the joke. <laughs> no, it's. I was gonna say so. They everyone rips off of the Okajima. <laughs> no, that's literally what they do in Fallout 4. They replace oh. people. Oh Jesus! I should probably turn on the game a little bit. A little bit. The game, the game's pretty fucking high. So. Of course, the minute we start recording is when I get a text message. Go away, phone. Yes. Yeah, it's it always happens to me when I'm streaming. You usually hear me guys say something like, "God damn it, quit texting me." <laughs> there was, I still remember the first time you started streaming. I was just. Kill, 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 kill. God damn it's ass. <coughs> Huge fan. I always love the music for this game. <laughs> it does the entire Blade Runner <laughs> thing. You're gonna hate me, I've still, still never seen Blade Runner. Oh, for fuck's sake. I know. It's like, I'll rent it tonight when I get home. You can just borrow my copy. Eh, I'll just rent it. My friends still have a giant Excel document of movies that Zayos has not watched and needs to watch. Literally, they were like, dude, how are you so uncultured? Here, make a Google Doc, we'll write everything I'm, down. I'm slowly getting uh, Yoshi to watch stuff, and then now, now it's coming into JP, it's <laughs> the same thing. At least Zen, I don't have this problem. Zen's usually seeing most of the movies I talk about. So it's just like... <laughs> yeah, I didn't watch a lot of shit growing up. I, s I watched musicals like African Sister Act. <laughs> you're calling me... It's a surprise I'm gay, right? No, you're calling Sister Act a musical is more of the... What it's the fuck? close enough. It's comedy. It's not a musical. 
when half the mo half the movie is in song. Well, not okay, not musical verbatim. Oh shit! I'm missing the extras from uh, Beat It. Not to mention the music from Beat It. <coughs> Cut to black. Ten years later. That's <laughs> dead waiting for the cut sand. <laughs> I'm that. getting a serious Ghost in the Shell vibe. Well, it could have influenced it. Because this definitely came out before Ghost in the Shell. Was it before or was it after? Pretty sure before. It was like... Well, actually, I'll... <coughs> Better for the cell phones. <laughs> just Don't text for, us. Just waiting for a touch of coma to run by right now. Ranger! <laughs> oh god, my voice is not cracking right now. <coughs> you mean like when I was going... The other night, you fucking lost your shit. <laughs> Can't do it right now. I have an excuse. Your cats. Constantly trying to kill me. Okay, so Snatcher was... <coughs> Second per Snatcher arrested, thank you. Uh, da -da -da -da. PC Engine in... 1988. Okay. Year before I was born. After this start. And then Ghost... And... I'm not gonna lie, I like the cutscene. I like the opening. As tropey as it is. <laughs> hey, Ghost in the Shell. I'm definitely getting Ghost in the Shell and Akira vibes here. Of course, considering they're both technically cyberpunk also. It's okay. <coughs> so, the original Ghost in the Shell movie is 1995. What? Okay, so this did come first. Yeah, it probably did influence a bit. This was definitely influenced by Blade Runner. Oh, obviously. I mean, the Klein cop car alone. <laughs> His outfit alone. That's that too. You just need to replace, replace the face with Harrison Ford, and you're good. I mean, it's verbatim. As I'm saying this, even as I've never seen the movie. The voice actor <coughs> is like top notch, especially surprisingly. Thing. Yeah, considering it's a Sega CD game. As angsty as maybe the opening narration was. <laughs> it's funny, you got this game with these anime cutscenes, it looks really great. And then you have Ernest Evans. What? Ernest what? Uh, Ernest Evans. Horrible Genesis Sega CD game where it like had the, you know, the treasure way of making sprites by like joints. Oh. Imagine now taking your whip and flailing it behind you, and your entire body goes kind of like all limp noodly. I don't know what else to call it other than that. So they tried to do the, su the Super Castlevania thing, but failed miserably. Oh god. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> what? Konami Omni building. It's never gonna happen now! It's now the, the Konami Omni Pinkachinko machine. I was about to say! My brain. The Pachinko factory! <laughs> Game start, Pachinko. <laughs> I've never actually played with Pachinko. Neither have I. Okay, so here... Just wait. They invent a time machine, go back. All the games are now Pachinko. <laughs> Metal Gear Pachinko. God. <clears throat> but no, they're making erotic Pachinko Castlevania. They always make erotic Pachinko. The or game thing's new. Now. The game thing's new. Okay. Anyway, so... Uh, so, this is an adventure game at its core. So, obviously... I know. That's one of the reasons I gave it to you. Yes. Because you're, you're like me, you've played a lot of these, so. Day of the Tentacle, give it to me. LucasArts, what? They don't exist anymore, remember? They don't care. Disney, whoever is making the HD version, money. We just need to get like a bunch of Monopoly money and a couple of those guns. And then like have I was using in the Minion video. Just... They just have someone shoot off screen just money over us. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Okay, sorry. We're getting distracted, folks. This happened. We are vaguely professional. We are the crystal. Video's gone. <laughs> and it's been taken down from YouTube. Let's see. I'll tell you right now, folks, I look at everything. <laughs> She's a beautiful oriental woman. She, she looks like advice. a blob. 
She doesn't have eyes. <laughs> Apparently. <clears throat> I'm still getting used to which one select. Uh, I think C. Yeah, it's C. I'm so used to A or B. Or Genesis is toward. weird. I mean, like, I think C was like the default button because it was the furthest over. Because a lot of games I had have C as the action. Oh. A is usually like the menu in order <coughs> and shit. And this one brings out your gun, allegedly. I'm saying allegedly because... When I hear the word allegedly, this is just inspires such confidence. Well, there's only certain yeah. scenes, and when you get to that, you have to pretty much hit A anyway, otherwise you get, you know, the shit raped out of you. But, you know, kill the robots. Well, I'm gonna die many times. Yeah, you're not. So get these into the inside. I would hope. I would hope it goes in. Otherwise, it's the thinnest building I've ever seen. Area... Gee, thanks. <laughs> Let's see. Investigate. Is there anything behind the poster? Nope. Uh, I think it pretty much says the same stuff as look in this case. Uh, yeah. Uh, your name, please. Okay, fine. I'll talk to you. Oh, that would be enter. Okay. <laughs> and talk. There we go. Now I can do what I want. She's not look. Orientally. Well, it's oriental based on how they perceive the look. She looks American. To Americans, yes, she'll look American. To Japanese, she'll look Japanese. It's depending on face shape and their the way they recognize faces. I guess. I remember reading something about it. It's for when in, the, <clears throat> in anime they look more at like the noses and stuff like that to recognize an Asian or hmm. Japanese person, whereas Americans look more at the eye shapes. Hmm. I actually did not know that. Okay. Don't quote me on this, people. It was a while ago. <laughs> so basically, <coughs> you just gotta ask her about everything. That's what I kind of assumed. Give me knowledge. I need some of that old junker magic. Again, quote that just went. Right. <laughs> yeah, I lost the blonde. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the last video is gonna be like, you had a blonde mohawk. That was brown. <laughs> Shit happened. Yeah. Yes, yes. Everyone's pretty welcome. Even those two knife guys, if you stopped and asked them directions, they would have told you how to get here. <laughs> Using a very, very similar <laughs> thing that we all know and love. <laughs> I didn't even start a timer. <laughs> Oopsie doodle. Okay, well, the go. first episode will run long. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck it, we'll do it live! <clears throat> Suddenly, I feel like I'm playing one of those Japanese visual novel games. Tell me about yourself. Isn't that before, Mr. Zeos? Oh, Mika-chan! I think you're very smooth. I think now you can enter again. Mr. C. Gillian's fine, and you can call me Gillian Mika. You said that twice. Okay, Gillian. Okay. I'll open the main door and show you around headquarters. Even the little details like that, <coughs> although nowadays we know it's usually used to cover up some kind of loading to make it... Oh, absolutely. So, uh, I think you can just go wherever you want, but um, start with the chief office. And then you can just go nuts. Chief Cunningham, Gillian Seed is here. I brought him in as you requested. Thanks for coming, Seed. I am Benson Cunningham, the chief of Junker Operations. Gillian Seed, I've been transferred here from the 17th Special Forces Division. I've heard all about your special training in the military, Seed. I hope you'll put it to good use on your new assignment here. By the way, I understand you're suffering from amnesia. Any sign yet that your memory's coming <coughs> back? I'm afraid not. I still can't remember a thing from before the Army picked me up three years ago. You're married, aren't you? Yes, but we're separated now. She has amnesia as well, and without any memories between the two of us, I'm afraid there was very little to base a good relationship on. I can see your point there. It's a miracle it lasted for years. So I think basically just the first part you're basically asking a lot of <coughs> questions. Picture. Picture. Yeah, that is a weird thing. Why the fuck would you have a photo of a plant? I guess there's a safe.
snatch of problems we've been going on a year. And not everyone's dead yet. <laughs> Just randomly, this poster is really pretty tacky. <laughs> Never mind, we just insulted the chief. <coughs> <laughs> okay, never mind, the receptionist is doing it. It's A-OK. -okay. Those rules are... Pretzel. Pretzels always come first. Pretzels are... These actually aren't that bad. Mm -hmm. They're not shitty pretzels. If they were shitty particles, they'd become shitty walk. No butts down in the delivery room. <coughs> Great, now that you've got now that you mentioned butts down, I'm thinking about this that goddamn commercial I keep seeing on YouTube. With the unicorn shitting out the ice cream. Yeah, that's a little creepy. The squatty potty. <laughs> the squatty potty. I can't believe that's still a thing. <laughs> this, is the, this is the unicorn shitting out the ice cream. <laughs> Sorry, folks. I laugh easily. Why? I mean, it's a sh unicorn just shitting on ice cream, and you're just gonna put it directly into your mouth. I mean, it does look delicious. <laughs> Never make that face again. Terrible <laughs> <coughs> There are only five rules. Everything else is fair game, right? Cyberpunk game, I am a runner, probably working in the shadows. <laughs> hmm. When did Shadowrun come out again? <laughs> I wonder if this influenced that too. <laughs> <laughs> that should be enough to make your duties as a junker quite clear. Right. This is Wait. your junker ID card. It will identify you as a junker. I had to make sure it was 1989. This was a year before Shadowrun. <laughs> it helped. Maybe. Could be just a complete and utter coincidence. Creative Shadowrun? Tell us. Or don't. I don't care. That was first edition, was, and the one that I'm most familiar with, third edition. Sounds like it's a rough place. Well, like fifth edition that we tried to figure out and just got damn, we gave up. I still have the book at home. <laughs> I like how everyone's just like, nope. It's like, what are you doing? <coughs> Not this. <laughs> well, I mean, seriously, it was so difficult. Anything else? I think yeah, I think you did everything. Um, no, I think you could uh, exit. Yeah, I think you can exit. And... <coughs> Let's see. Into the chiefs. Oh yeah, you eventually meet your navigator. You'll love his name. I can't tell if that's supposed to be a joke or what. No, you'll love it. <laughs> when I hear navigator, first thing in popped in my head is freaking Leroy from Girl in the Gun. No, it's not Leroy. Okay, it's I'm expecting funny. some dude to be like, give these fingers a dexterity test. <laughs> like, no, your fingers a dexterity test. No. Alright. Jumpers, jumpers around, we have to put to death. Look! <laughs> Look at Mika's face, really? Stare. You are truly beautiful. <laughs> I'll take that at face. Oh. <laughs> Puns. No translators. Why, why do you do this? Exit. Always <clears throat> home. Take a Jean Jack Jean. Jean Jack Gibson? That's a tongue twister right there. I'm sure they just called JJ. JJB? JJG. God, JJG. G, thank you. Even that's a tongue twister, JJG. Uh -huh. Buddha, Buddha, Buddha. I'm just gonna call him Dio. Well. But it was I, 
to you. Her name is Katrina. Her friends are the waves. <coughs> Too soon. Maybe she's out walking on sunshine. Uh, I just died in your arms tonight. <laughs> okay. Nothing here again. I don't see a person. I don't care. Computer book? Give me someone. Um, anything interesting, computer? What year is this game set? In the 90s? 46 was my dad. Okay. 2046. I was going to say, haven't seen keyboards in some time, as I look at one of the desk. Well, so I'm, I don't see any Oculus Rifts floating around, so that obviously True. didn't do, do too well. True. $600. Well, $600. For... Hmm. <sighs> Drop the price to less than that of a video a, a video game console, and I'm sure they'd sell like gangbusters. <coughs> wow. Really? <laughs> You're Gillian's just that forward, Gillian. Smooth. He's like, I just met you, and this, this is crazy. crazy. But my you wife. my number. Call me, maybe. Call me if I remember you. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't laugh at that. <laughs> A surprise, her room isn't an option yet. Oh, you can practice and you can see how they... <coughs> oh, yeah, so you have to go to engineering and look around and... Oh, he's hidden there? So, okay, so you're gonna hit A to draw the blaster and then it kind of works as you point at a quadrant using the D-pad. And then okay. you hit... I think speed to shoot. Is it A? We'll find out. A. Oh. There. Shut up. What the hell? You only hit A once to bring up that. Now you can shoot. Okay. Off to a great start here, people. Really? Didn't want to do some shots. You played Read Only Memories, which has a similar shooting system. Haven't gotten that far yet. No. I only did the very beginning. Okay. <coughs> Spoilers, it has a, f a similar shooting system. That's fine. <laughs> keyboard and mouse. We don't know, it might just be keyboard. Which is going to be... Okay, so basically... I can deal with that. I think you have to go to the engineering. Yeah, well, let's find out. And then I think you have to look around because then uh, Harry should be like, What's up, bitch? Not the chief's room. Nope. See ya. You have a good taste in paintings? Right? <laughs> So please tell me because I'm an M and Jack. I guess I must be imagining things. You look like someone who put his dick inside my daughter. Did you put your dick inside my daughter, Gillian said? Because if you put your dick inside my daughter, I think I'd remember that. Really? Really, Kojima? Of the late 20th century, 
Seriously? Are these all linked? Kojima. Silent Hill is probably would have had a Metal Gear reference in it. I would have been fine with that if it had been made. It will get still probably get made, just nope. won't be a Silent Hills. Kojima and seriously, Kojima, you and Del Toro and Norman Reedus get together. Do something. Do some bong hits. <laughs> see what happens. I don't know why they just like they seem like they they would do bong hits while they're working. <laughs> to me, they don't. Well, your mind went there. <laughs> Give me my gun, fool! Right, uh, it looks like the lawgiver the judges use in Judge Dredd, but it's not. You can't speak to it to change the bullets. So it makes me sad it's not gonna be another Judge Dredd movie. Well, I'm glad we got a sequel because the first one sucked. Carl Urban was such a good Judge Dredd. <clears throat> well, my ergonomic mouse increases my firepower. Okay, um... Let's see. Snatchers. So, aim for the head. I would hope so. Let's see if there's anything... Metal Gear. You may go on to use that often. I had a feeling. Yeah. It's an adventure game. There's many deaths in store. Unless it's Duke Arts, in which case, not many. And the later ones, no. And the earlier ones, yeah. Yeah, early ones. <laughs> you gotta microwave your hamster. Hey, look, here's your microwave hamster. Love it. <laughs> Always did that. It was always entertaining. Or drowning him in the radioactive pool. Nah. Microwave. Still never beat Maniac Mansion. It's pretty hard, actually. I mean, it's not, like, super hard, <clears throat> but there's a lot of weird shit you have to do in it. Yeah. To be fair, I grew up playing adventure games. They were my favorite genre growing up, so... Objection! Oh, that's me. You head out right away. John needs your help. After I get a pretzel. Be Less talky, more shooty. <clears throat> well, if I can remember the shooting mechanics when I actually get there. Factory rooms. Now I'm just gonna go home. Now departing for the abandoned factory. Such anger while sitting there doing nothing. Wow, such anger. Well, I guess it is their our plane the noir thing, so he's going to have a lot of internal dialogue, I hope. It'd be great to have some subtitles to it, though. That would be amazing. But, you know, people weren't deaf in the 90s. <coughs> Plus, there was less care to put accessibility stuff in. Yeah. I can only imagine what this looks like to someone who's colorblind. <laughs> Alright. What do you like to do? I think we'll exit. Let's exit for now. <laughs> and then next time I snatch her. Next time.